was just a dominant force on the East Coast. She was. She was a you know, between WSU, NYWC. She was all over the place, and she was someone that I just really looked up to as as someone who's out there just doing it. And then she she took some time off. And now that she's come back, we have a whole new attitude, and you can see it right here. Like, she yep. worked really hard for a long time, and it seems like she has a chip on her shoulder now that she's back, taking it to someone like Megan Bain, who, again, is relatively new to professional wrestling and has gotten a whole lot of attention already. Oh, very keenly aware of the rules, saying, give me my space. I have the right to get out of this corner. You can tell she's been in the business for a while. But I have to say, Megan Bain does not seem bothered. She seems self-assured. Quickly Ooh. taking her down. Not enough for a pin yet. Oh, only a one, I think. Maybe not even a full one count there. She's not even trying to pin her now. She's just trying to, she's just trying to have a good time giving her the squeeze. Megan Bain still holding on to the headlock. Looks like mm -hmm. Gina San Antonio using the hair to pull her back into the ropes. Oh! And San Antonio just leveled with that tackle. Rules yep. to the outside. Very smart thing to do. Taking a break, sizing up her opponent, maybe revising her strategy. And she's getting the count from the referee, Katie Bella. Yeah, just taking taking her time, taking every second that she can to get back into the ring. And you know what? I think a lot of people tend to look down on that sort of thing. They're like, why aren't you getting in the ring? Why aren't you being as entertaining as possible? Well, you know, the wrestler's first uh, priority is to win the match. Um, if they get to be entertaining while they do it, right? But it's not their number one priority. Their priority is to just beat, beat the bejesus out of their opponent and get that W. And we have what was starting out as a test of strength here, but I should have known that Tina San Antonio had a plan when she called for it. Now she is very much in control, wrenching the arm of Megan Bain. But Megan Bain Ooh. turns it around. Megan Bain has really been dominant so far in this match. Just very methodical, very slow. She hasn't been rushing. She's been taking her time. She's making it seem as though all is going according to plan. And these two are just trading hold for hold here. And in the end, it's Megan Bain, it seems to be with that strength advantage. Oh my gosh. And she's got a height advantage as well. She's, uh, when I saw her get in the ring, you know, referee is not super tall, so I was like, I need someone to compare her to. And when Tina San Antonio got in the ring, I was like, oh yeah, my eyes weren't tricking me. This is a very tall person. You can tell she's got a good reach oh. as well. Not doing her any favors right now. She's up against uh, the corner there. Tina San Antonio whipping her around. Oh, backfires, unfortunately. Bane reverses into a massive body slam. Oh, man. Oh. Another. Wow. Oh, man. Aha. Well spotted, well scouted. Tina San Antonio able to roll out of the way just in time. She's still hurting, though. I gotta say, I feel like to a degree, being a veteran in this case might be a disadvantage for Tifa San Antonio. I think that she uh, she came out here sort of underestimating her mm. opponent, and now she's having to revise her strategy a lot on the fly. Looks like she's gonna stay stay on the back of Megan Bain, which has to be hurting after that missed time. Ooh. Running leg drop. Oh, to the back of the head. Yeah, that was rough. She's driving the, the face into the mat. Yeah. She got a good amount of her shoulder as well. That's got to be stinging somewhat. She's trying to fight out of it, though. She's using those legs. The legs haven't been, been really worked on yet, so she's still got that power that she can push up with. Ooh! All that momentum stalled by Tina San Antonio. Oh! Huge elbow drop. Wow! Cover smush with, her face! Did yeah, with smush? Yeah, forearm to the face. Just a little extra brutality. And then into a into a into a chin lock here, but again using the forearms for extra leverage. Very much a veteran move. Being here trying to fight her way back out. She's she's at least gotten up onto her feet, and now she can start hammering back. Oh, well spotted, caught. 
caught by Tina San Antonio. What a vicious headlock. Yeah, it looks like she's looks like she's trying to lock on us. That was a sleeper hold here. Oh, she's trying to climb on top, but Megan Bain felt it coming and was able to stand up. Oh, the power of Megan Bain. Oh, she's got to get her off. And she manages to get her loose by herself some time to catch her breath. Oh, maybe not. Yikes. What a brutal kick to the face. Yeah, every time Megan Bain is able to work up a little bit of momentum, able to power out of something that Tina San Antonio has some sort of hold she has locked in, eventually San Antonio is able to just cut her down and cut that momentum. Mm -hmm. And you can tell that both these women came into this match with maybe a bit of arrogance, not necessarily unearned arrogance, but, you know, a lot of excessive self-assurance, we'll say. And now you can tell that both of them are kind of shedding that, and they're just trying to get to work at this point. Oof. And San Antonio trying to suplex Bane, but Bane, Bane turns it around! Oh my gosh. Now oh. they're both down, and I don't blame them. Take a second. My gosh. Could this be what Megan Bane needs to shift the momentum, like, squarely into her favor now? I don't know. I don't know if either of them can capitalize right now. They are both just floored. San Antonio looks like she's she's struggling to her feet here. But Bane, Bane is on the move, too. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Oh. Just knocking her to the mat. Even though she's hurting, she's still trying to put as much damage to Tina San Antonio as possible. Jesus, oh. right on her back. Huge oh back suplex God. driving her through the mat. And there it is. Hits that senton from earlier cover. Oh, wow. That was close. That was that was a two and a half count. Team San Antonio really feeling it. She's just Ooh. going on instinct right now. Huge jawbreaker. San Antonio, though, doing her best to turn things around. Big swinging neck breaker. Oh my gosh, it's a pin. No. Also a two count. It's it's so interesting, these two, the dynamic here. You have a young upstart, very powerful. You have the 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 ring veteran and Tina San Antonio both bring their own very unique skills to this match. San Antonio going up, both are crossbody. Oh no. Wait! Oh no! What? Oh wow. Megan Bain with the cover. Oh, and she takes it. Megan Bain for the win. That is it. Dominant performance in the end there by Megan Bain. Wow, what a what an astounding debut match here at CCW. Uh, she's definitely made an impression on me. The crowd is going wild.